Hey, it's uh, me again with the Gordon 8.5D. I'd like to um, like to figure something out with this um, this Y screw. It's uh, it's a little worn. I mean, I've seen I've seen worse wear, but there's there's quite a bit of quite a bit of backlash as you can see. Uh, that's doing nothing, you know. The um, on the uh, on this this X axis, it's the same. Um, but I'd really like to replace this Acme uh, shaft. And um, but I I'm not really sure what needs to come out. And um, I don't know if any of you guys have done that uh, and could share with me just how how difficult or easy it is. Um, I mean, obviously this. Um, well, I, I'm assuming at least that I'm going to have to remove the table, um, but I don't even know if that's. I don't even know if that's accurate. Um, I think that the um, the Y screw where it plugs into this. I actually should uh, should take a look over here. The Y screw where it plugs into the um, the power feed. Actually, you can't see it. It's attached uh, with a little coupling, with uh, with a, basically a stub of a shaft um, that 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 sticks out uh, and has a, a hole through it. And then there's a, a coupling, and then the Acme thread also has a hole in it. And then there's two shear pins that go through the coupling and then through the stub shaft and then the Acme thread. Um, and of course, you know those are the infamous shear pins on these machines, and um, had to replace one already. But so I'm assuming that on that end, that this whole um, that the that the Y screw would just come out this end. But I, I'm just not sure if it would be uh, possible to do it without removing the table. You know, to get at the um, uh, uh, the the nut. I can't remember what that thing's called. The <laughs> you know the acme threaded nut underneath the table or what so uh that's kind of what i'm looking at for that um yeah if the x-axis screw is is easy to replace or fairly easy to replace as well i'd love to do that too replace the both the the screw and the nut the, Ac the acme threaded nut on the underneath um i'm planning on putting a dro on here so it's it's probably not you know it's probably not that important to, to get rid of all that backlash, but it's still nice to have a bit of a tighter, um, a tighter mill. I mean, this is just, this is just a ton of play. So, um, like to, like to clear that up. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, um, let me know. You can, you can see, you know, in this, from this angle that the, um, that it looks like that that nut has two uh, bolts, two cap screws, screwed into the underside of the table. But I don't I don't know that I'd be able to get a uh, a wrench down there. Uh, the the one on the front side is accessible, but it's the one on the back side that I'd be worried about. Uh, I'm just not sure that I'd be able to that there's a way to get that. But maybe that's how it's designed, and um, maybe I can make that happen. Anyways, um, yeah, if you guys have any advice, um, let me know.